Hey, in this episode of Vincent Vision, we're doing a home vlog, but not just any home vlog. We're here answering your theme park questions while drinking really hot hot sauces. Oh, man, this is... Why am I doing this? Welcome to the home vlog episode of Vincent Vision. of insanity is insanity is doing the exact same thing over and over again over and over and over and over and over again thinking this time it's going to be different Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest episode of Vincent Vision. Hey, we got the glasses back. Oh, we got them back. Look at that. You guys hanging in there? I hope you're hanging in there. I'm hanging in here. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great <laughs> It's been about two weeks now since Walt Disney World and Universal and pretty much every theme park and pretty much everything here in Orlando has closed, and I've been having a Pretty decent time here at home, stay at home. I've been finding ways to keep myself busy, but I figured it is time to squeeze the creative juices out of my brain. That's what I just came up with. We're gonna roll with it. I figured it was time to make another video. But here's the thing. I, like many of you, are currently stuck at home, self-isolating, social distancing, quarantine, flattening the curve, all that kind of good stuff. So I can't really go out, and all I've really ever done are videos outside, at the theme parks, at Disney, at Universal. So, for the very first time ever, we are going to be trying our hand at a home vlog! Da -da -da! We're here! At home! Welcome to the beautiful Vincent Vision headquarters. This is my private chamber, and you are all here with me. You know, I've never really done a home vlog before. I've always thought, oh, I should just go to the parks and go out and do more stuff like that. Um, because my home life isn't really very interesting. There's only two things I do when I'm at home. Is one, play video games. And two, do dance parties for my dog, Kent. Which, by the way, he's actually, he's actually right here right now. One second. There he is! It's the boy named Kent! Yay! <laughs> Don't worry. This is not going to be just a typical home vlog. I've actually got some really, really fun ideas to make this an interesting video. So, we should probably start getting ready to do that now. So, let's, uh, let's go to the kitchen. All right. So, let's get down to business. Let's talk about why we're really here today. I made these chicken nuggets, or meatless nuggets rather, because I'm sure they're going to be tasty, but I also wanted to do a Q&A with you guys. I wanted to answer some questions you guys might have for me, but I didn't want to do just any regular Q&A. No, 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 no. I wanted to do a Q&A inspired by my favorite YouTube show, Hot Ones, where they bring guests on and interview them while they try very, very hot sauces. A couple days ago, I went on Twitter and asked people for questions, so I've got those on here as well. We're gonna answer your questions and uh, hopefully not die, so let's give it a shot. I've arranged these in what I think is hottest to least hottest. So I'm very, very excited, but we're gonna try this thing out. We're gonna go with our first question and our most mildest sauce, sriracha. Boom, easy. Sriracha, easy peasy. First question, Andrew Olszewski asks, I hope I got that right. Um, with the ever evolving world of theme park vlogs, who do you draw inspiration from? That is a really good question. I try to get ideas from really big popular things and 
apply them to the world of theme park fans and things like that. Because the way YouTube works now, I feel, is you can watch really anything that you are interested in and only that. Everything is so segmented, everything is so pocketed. So I wanna bring that type of entertainment to people who only watch theme park videos like I do. But to name a few people, Mega64 is probably one of my biggest inspirations. I love those guys. They do these awesome, really cool video game, funny video game videos where they go out in public and do all these sort of stunts and skits and things like that. They're all really well written, they're really funny. Um, that is a lot of inspiration for my intros where I just dance around and stuff like that. I can't do a lot of the stuff that they do when they are running around in public at Disney World or Universal because I get kicked out and trespassed and banned, but I try to do the best I can to mimic that and recreate that. And as far as like theme park vloggers go, I mean, it's got to gotta throw it to Adam Wu. Adam Wu is at it every single day and he manages to go to so many places that I wouldn't even think about going to and he makes everything really, really interesting. I remember for the longest time, I would watch his daily videos when he was traveling across the United States and just seeing all these little small towns, I thought was super interesting. So I always keep him in the back of my mind to try and make these videos as interesting as I can. So great question, great way to start this thing off. But we're gonna jump into number two, Tabasco sauce. Tabasco, a little spicier than Sriracha, I think, but not too worried about this one either. Hmm. Eric Alstrom asks, rank the top one to five Disney parks you wanna to go to and what attractions you'd be looking forward to the most. So I would definitely, number one on the list, Tokyo Disney Sea. I would love to go to Tokyo Disney Sea, and the ride that I'd be dying to ride there is obviously Journey to the Center of the Earth. It just looks so cool. I've seen so many videos of it, but nothing compares to actually being on a ride in real life and, and just seeing everything and noticing all these details. Um, I don't even know if the ride's like crazy thrilling. I see that there's like a drop, but it doesn't even look like a big drop. I have so many questions about it. And of course I wanna see that giant volcano. I wanna see it in person and see what it looks like. Another one is Disneyland in Paris. The ride that I would be dying to ride there is their Space Mountain. It looks so cool. I think right now it's Hyperspace Mountain too, which is really, really interesting. And then in Hong Kong, Disneyland, obviously I would love to see Mystic Manor. Great question. Things are gonna get a little spicier now. There's gonna be kind of like a, a hop off here. We're going now to the Iguana Triple X, pretty darn hot habanero pepper sauce, which I think is gonna be a little hotter. Okay, that's good, that's good right there. Now I'm starting to get a little nervous because I don't have enough hot sauces and I, I know that they're gonna get progressively hotter and hotter, but I've got my milk, so we're good here. Um, all right, here we go. This one's not bad, we're good, we're still in it, we're great. Roy, Roy Oibi, there he is. Roy asks, is there a Disney property that's underutilized in the parks that deserves something big? Um, Tangled, obviously, is a really popular movie, but I can't believe they just got a bathroom. I think the biggest one that I think is really popular and would work so well as an amusement park or a theme park ride, Moana. Where is Moana? Moana and Adventureland would be the best thing ever. Put on a big, giant ride, make the volcano from the movie. And I know that Epcot's getting like some sort of Moana inspired thing, but I just don't think that it's going to be as cool as like an awesome boat ride where you're going through. Imagine like the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Shanghai, but with Moana, you know, something that scale, that would be really, really awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss it to Moana. Boom, Iguana, radioactive. Explosively hot. So I think this is supposed to be hotter than the other one. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. Haven't tried it yet. yet. Ah! Darn it, I put a lot on there. All right, here we go. We're good. I'm still doing good. I'm very impressed with myself. Disflix asks, should IP belong in the parks? Absolutely, IP should be in the parks. Why not? I think now we live in a world where Marvel and Harry Potter and Star Wars and all these things, all these movies and these IPs go on for 20 movies and 50 books and spin-off series and they all have their own universes where people want to see themselves in the universe. So like things like Star Wars works out, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter is amazing for that. You know, I think Marvel is getting the whole Avengers campus. People want to live in those worlds because that's the type of media that they're getting now. And, and, and what's the last non-IP ride, intellectual property for those who don't know. Um, what's the last IP ride that Walt Disney World got? Uh, what, Expedition Everest? Which is a fantastic ride, by the way, but I just feel like 
nowadays if you revealed a non-IP attraction at Walt Disney World, it just wouldn't stick the landing as well. Even though it could be an awesome ride, but you know, we're getting Tron, we're getting Guardians of the Galaxy, we're getting Ratatouille, all these things are based off of movies and TV shows and stuff like that. I think IP has its place. I think we shouldn't get rid of original rides, but I think IP is the way of the future. And I think with Marvel and Star Wars, those are really, really strong IPs that people want to see in the parks. All right, so this is like not going as bad as I thought. I, for some reason, thought that these were going to be like really, really bad. These four sauces that I got here at Publix aren't as bad. And I figured if they sell them at Publix, they can't be that bad. But <clears throat> this one here, I know that they've put on the show Pain is Good habanero sauce. I know that they've seen that on the show here, so I know this one's a little bit of a stinger, and I've had a little bit of it, and I can confirm, but I've yet to put all of it onto a chicken nuggy, so that's why we are gonna put a lot more. I know these sauces aren't as hot as the ones I use on the show, but I think that is enough right there. That's actually a little too much. I'm not very excited about that, if you can see that. I'm not very excited. All right, here we go. Fudge, man. I know this one sucks. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, that one takes a little bit. That one takes a second, but it's here now. It's here now. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> Justin Munez, my good friend Justin, he says he deep dived through my Facebook and he found this fun picture. What's the story behind this photo? That's a great question. That was when I was in college many, many years ago. It was a, oh my God, this one's bad. This one was bad. Oh, that was from when I, there was a costume party at the college. At, this one's really bad. <laughs> this one is worse than all the others so far. This is, it was from a costume party and I wanted to dress up. This is actually a costume, I'm not a furry. This is a costume from um, Community, the show Community, I used to really love that show. Um, Joel McHale dresses up as a cool cat, so I had a leather jacket and cat ears and sunglasses and that's why, that's why I'm dressed like that. That's why I'm dressed like that, I'm not I'm drinking that, I gotta keep it down. Um, so that's why I dressed like that. I went to college um, in Miami, where I'm from, for performing arts, I went for acting. I didn't stick around the whole way, but I did. It was, that was a costume for that. And I don't think I've really done Halloween since then, which is quite a shame. I should probably do that more, but thank you for pulling up that. Um, that's a fun one. Thank you for pulling that up. Good stuff. I'm gonna drink this one now because I know this next one is gonna be really, really bad. And for this one, I saved the spiciest question for last. I don't want to do this one. We're going to do Mad Dog 357. This is the worst sauce I've ever had. I had it once before a long time ago. Fudge. We're going to put this on No, oh, no, no, no. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I can do on that one. That's all we got on the Mad Dog. Oh my God, that one, I'm still feeling that one. And I know, I'm just shaking now because this one, I know is really bad. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. So. <laughs> Mirandaism asks, what is my dream Halloween Horror Nights house? And do I prefer Disney to Universal? Great question. The timeless age old question. Do you like Disney or do you like Universal Bear? The battery's dying, the battery's dying, hold on. Oh, oh my God, that was the worst one, that was the worst one. 
I had to get a battery for it to charge because the camera was running really low. During that time, I drank all my milk. I drank all my water. I was going to go and drink all my orange juice. Oh, that's rough. To answer your question, stream Howling for Anne's House. I, I don't care. Bioshock. Bioshock. Bioshock would be really beautiful. It would lend itself perfectly to a haunted house. It would be so atmospheric, but I don't think it's going to be really scary. Do I prefer Disney to Universal? That's such a hard question to answer. I love, love, love both of them so much. I was born and raised on Universal. That's where I went as a kid. So as a kid, every single year, my once a year trip to the theme parks was Universal and Halloween Horror Nights. So Universal is a special place in my heart. But I love Disney World because of Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge is amazing. Uh, I, I, it, is my, it is my heaven, it is my theme park heaven. <laughs> hmm. I love it because of that. It's awesome. But if I could only go to one, I, I don't know. I know we should. If you put Galaxy's Edge and Islands of Adventure, you got rid of Dr. Seuss, put Star Wars right there, put Guardians of the Galaxy and Islands of Adventure, Mission, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, Islands of Adventure, that would be the perfect theme park for me. It'd be the perfect, perfect theme park. I would love it. It'd be awesome. I'd have a great time. I think out of all of them, I will say, out of all the theme parks everywhere though, Disneyland and California, that's the best singular theme park. Islands of Adventure is a close second for me. There are some things that I wish they would take out of Islands of Adventure and update and change, but Islands of Adventure has got a lot going on and I love Islands of Adventure. So I know this is really answer the question, um, but I like them both for different reasons. Big thing, obviously Galaxy's Edge, but we're good. We're done. We did it. The Q&A is done. Oh my God, I'm feeling better. We're alive. Oh, this poor dog thinks I've just been running around the house going crazy, throwing everything around, but we did it. And I think that's all I got. So, hey, thank you guys for watching Vincent Vision. I hope you had a good time hanging out with me for a little bit. I hope this home vlog Brought you guys some humor, brought you guys some joy. Looking to get your theme park fixings while this is all done, please check out some more of my videos. But if the parks stay closed for longer than we're anticipating, I guess I'll have to do another home vlog, uh, but I'm not doing that again because that legitimately sucked. I hated it, um, but it was fun. It was good TV. So, hey, thank you guys for watching Vincent Vision and uh... <laughs> it's my baby, it's my baby boy. It's my baby. I love you. Say bye. Say bye bye bye. Say bye, Kent. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. All right. Bye bye.